thank you so much for coming out uh, for the Heritage Excellence Award winners for the month of October. I would first and foremost like the community for a job well done in raising uh, an amazing woman. I have seen each of them operating in their areas and they're always, as my father used to say, caught doing good. They're caught <laughs> doing good things. They are uh, truly uh, bright lights in our building and uh, I'll say a lot more about them in just a moment. But I would like to, <clears throat> first of all, thank Ms. Johnson, um, fine assistant principal to my right and left. Uh, she has put this together um, monthly uh, since I've been here, certainly years before that. Uh, so to her, I would like to publicly thank her for putting together the certificates. <laughs> Mr. Gardner to the tech team because they helped me tremendously with everything with organizing here. this. I so I want to thank too. them. I was able to there too. <laughs> so your child will receive a certificate, a complimentary shirt, which we which we uh, will enforce it. They must wear when they leave out of here. Uh, it is certainly an honor <coughs> for children to be identified as an HEA uh, winner so that they stand out in their various grade levels as being that kid who won uh, for this month. In addition to that, uh, they receive a nice little gift card. They'll probably take you out to lunch with their gift card. Or Dr. Dr. George is here. He likes to go out to that place, too, so screen your <laughs> card on him, too. <laughs> First half has always been on <laughs> <laughs> And uh, without a doubt, uh, our fine tech team, Mr. Rick Zell and Ms. Uh, Mary Hawasaki. Uh, let's give them another five. <laughs> I do believe that they'll have available for you some pictures. We go, we'll uh, have a picture se session with you and your child. They'll take individual shots with the group, with the administrators. And um, I am about certain that each of you have a consent form signed for a photograph release. This will be published in the Times newspaper, I think, the Times. Yes. Okay. That being said, let's talk about academic excellence. To Kamaya. Mecca and uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we know that we're living in a time when there's so many factors that impede upon our children not getting in and not learning. Your children are achieving in spite of and nevertheless. That comes from your fine example of what your expectation is for your child for learning. For Seek, seeking higher achievement and leaving here prepared for high school. Your child is on the higher ranks academically and we want to continue to push them as far as we possibly can because this is what we see when we see the children. Your four kids here today represent our future, our future attorneys, our future doctors, our future superintendents, our future um, Nobel Peace Prize winners, and certainly there are children, in my mind, that can walk into the White House because we have that kind of potential here at Heritage Middle School. We are convinced that when family, school, and community connect, that trifecta will lead to brilliance in your child. So it takes a team approach. We want a three-year strategic plan. And in order to have that happen, in order for that to move forward, it takes an entire village, it takes an entire community to push your children to higher heights. So with your help and what we're trying to do here with our staff and the vision of this great district, uh, your child will do exceptionally well in life. So again, we expect nothing but the best for your children. We have the highest of expectations for them. And push back on us if you see that we may not be raising the bar as high as we're pushing, and we are pushing the bar, but it's the expectation of every teacher, of every staff member here to provide a quality education for your child each and every day. So again, parents, children, we're so proud of you today. Wear your t-shirt with pride today and any other day you want to wear it. You are an HEA winner uh, for the 2014-2015 school year. So let's give the children another round of applause.
to start off by passing out the awards, and we'll start with our fifth grade winner, Kamaya Wax. <laughs> Okay, I need to hold it. Well, Kamaya is always so great at helping me quiet down the lunchroom, so I really appreciate her. <laughs> Next, we have our sixth grade winner, Janae Compton. Our seventh grade winner, Alyssa Calderon. And finally, our eighth grade winner, and I know she's been at this award ceremony before, mm -hmm. Mecca Latha. She's a veteran. She's a veteran. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, let's give our winners one more round of applause. Excellence Awards and, so, and also the ones that Nathan Hill uh, to celebrate with uh, the peers and your students. I just want to say congratulations to the students and say ditto to everything that Mr. Gardner has said. We are raising the bar. We're going to continue to raise the bar. We appreciate you as parents, your support, all that you bring to our community and to Heritage Middle School. We appreciate you, students, for all that you do to set the tone and be a role model for our other students. That's what you are. When you put that shirt on, you're telling everyone else, this is the bar now you have to set. Look at me. You have to be like me. I'm not like you. You now have to be like me. I will not be like you. You now have to try, try and get a shirt like me. So make sure you wear them proudly. All right. Tell everyone, if they ask, what does that mean? That means I've accomplished something. I've done something very good. I've, uh, I'm a good student. There's nothing wrong with telling someone you're a good student. Okay. There's nothing wrong with being a 3.0 student or a 4.0 student. Let everybody know, because if you don't, I will. <laughs> I will remember your faces. I will remember your names. I will say hello in the hallway and say, aren't you an HEA winner? And I'm going to tell the whole community. So if you get embarrassed by Dr. George telling everybody, I'm sorry. Okay? I'm going to apologize today, because I will embarrass you, and I will, I'm going to say it. Okay? So get it out now. <laughs> so on Monday morning when I see you, right, Kameka? <coughs> It's on. <laughs> but again, I, in all seriousness, congratulations to you as parents for what you do at home and collaborating with us to have the students that we have here, your students, your children, here at Heritage Middle School. We are proud of them. We really appreciate you sending them to our schools and allowing us to educate your children. Again, thank you. I'd also like to thank Ms. Lund and Ms. Monroe for hosting each and every month. This is your home day. They run the library, and they're always such gracious hosts for us. So just wanted to publicly thank, thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. And at this time, students, if you could please put on your shirts. We're going to get some photos with your family.